Okay, so first of all, thank you very much on, on behalf of Moody's for inviting us to speak here today. And I'm looking forward to giving you the rating agency view on non-performing loans in the separate banking sector and, and what needs to be done. And it's encouraging to see that having heard several speakers before, that our views and those of other speakers today seem to be broadly aligned about the direction of travel and what needs to be done. The Cypriot banking system continues to have a high burden of non-performing loans, although these have declined to around 35 to 36% from 55% at their peak. This, however, as we've heard before, remains a very high level. Compares, I think, Greece is, is higher, um, but even Italy, for example, around 11%, Portugal, 15%. So, an improving trend, but clearly you know, a lot still to be done in that respect. But we do think the direction of travel is successful. So we expect this improvement to continue. And this can also be seen in our positive outlook for the Cypriot banking system. In fact, quite recently we had a sovereign upgrade um, back in July this year to BA2, the stable outlook. We have a positive outlook on the rating of Bank of Cyprus and a review for upgrade of Hellenic Bank which is tied into the cooperative bank transaction. So again, a good direction of travel, we think, uh, in the sector. In our view, there are no particular secrets regarding what needs to happen to resolve the situation. Firstly, economic growth is needed, and also the banks need to be able to work out or dispose of problem loans quickly and efficiently, and they need to do this while maintaining sound standards on new lending. And again, you've heard words about that from some of our, our previous speakers today. With regards to the economy, the recovery is in full swing, with nominal GDP restored to pre-crisis levels. And we expect economic activity to remain strong for the next couple of years, and we forecast 4% real GDP growth in 2018 and 2019, which is above the Eurozone average which we forecast at around 2% during that period. There are downside risks to the, to the system, potentially from lower than anticipated consumer spending as households begin to repay their loans. Growth, as we've also heard from other speakers, is driven mainly by tourism, by domestic consumption, uh, and the recovery of the construction sector. We've also seen unemployment falling below double digits in January 2018, and down to around 7.5% as of August. Nevertheless, this also remains high. So again, two areas where we see improvement, non-performing loan levels and employment, but still you know, a long way to go. In terms of working out problem loans, the process remains relatively slow in Cyprus. Contract enforcement, which is a main precondition for a well-functioning banking system, is weak. The foreclosure framework was amended in 2014, and further necessary amendments were made in the summer of 2018. Primary residence foreclosures, however, continue to be very few in number. We do note that the SDO initiative, although not final, finalised, may risk creating moral hazards, but it does at least set clear guidelines uh, for banks to pursue the foreclosure of primary residents above a certain value. Another initiative, the, the planned commercial court for claims above 2 million euro and judiciary reforms will also speed up the legal process if they are efficiently implemented. The ability to dispose of non-performing loans is however improving, and quite significantly so. The introduction of the securitisation law in the summer of this year and amendments to legislation governing the sale of loans, which allow segmentation of collateral as well as changes to allow faster execution of collateral by e-auctions, for example, and shortened waiting periods, are facilitating NPL sales. We've seen Bank of Cyprus complete its 2.8 billion securitisation of corporate and SME problem loans in the summer with Apollo Global Management LLC by the junior tranche. The transaction is subject to regulatory approvals and Bank of Cyprus will retain part of the senior tranche. Uh, we've also seen Hellenic Bank, which sold 140 million euro, of the seasoned retail and SME secured and unsecured problem loans to B2 Capital Cyprus. This was completed in April of this year, and we believe, as we've heard from other speakers, that more transactions are likely um, in the fairly near future. Another area we've seen is that the banks have also partnered with foreign debt experts and established more efficient independent debt servicing companies, 
For example, Pepper Cyprus attached to Bank of Cyprus and APS Cyprus, a joint venture for debt, uh, check for debt service specialist APS Holding and Hellenic Bank. So these entities benefit from the foreign company's expertise and should help raise restructuring volumes, particularly as banks shift their focus to more diversified and resource intensive SME and retail segments and long standing debts from bankrupt businesses. That said, we expect that restructuring volumes will, however, naturally decline as asset quality improves and banks have already dealt with a chunkier corporate exposures previously. Moving on to underwriting standards, we've seen that these have been tightened in recent years. For example, debt affordability playing a much stronger role in the decision making process rather than collateral value driving credit decisions as was the case in the past. Lending in foreign currencies, mainly Swiss franc loans, are also no longer favoured by banks or by borrowers. However, given the low interest rate environment, of course we note that asset quality will likely worsen to some extent if interest rates rise significantly. Another positive note is that the country's banking system is expected to return to profit in 2018 after several years of losses. This will support banks' efforts to deal with the overhang of non-performing loans through eliminating capital erosion and also ensuring that banks have increased resources available to invest in the development of their business. So, to summarise, overall we believe that the separate banking system is moving in the right direction. However, as mentioned previously, non-performing loans remain at a high level and the process will be a long one to resolve the situation. It's therefore very important in our view that the banks and all other parties in the process you know, maintain a strong focus on this process, particularly as the situation starts to improve. They really need to maintain the efforts in that respect. So that really gives you a summary of the Moody's view on the, on the process of improving the NPL situation in Cyprus, which again, we see a positive trajectory, but it's a long-term journey. Thank you very much.